there are certainly head coaches out there who have succeeded who were not previously a head coach. So those right. hires have happened. Um, I, I don't know in this situation, considering what the history has been going on 20 years, that I would feel confident doing that here, though. I would like to see a head coach hired who's had success previously because every other coach, as I mentioned here a few weeks ago, every coach since Butch Davis, none of them have had success before Miami, at Miami, or after Miami. So there would be a level of confidence, I think, from the fan base and from everyone involved if that person had a track record of winning somewhere that they had proven it somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Hey, we, we, we hear, like I said, my guy, Mario Cristobal just lost to, to Stanford on Saturday. So, but guess what? That's the second time as a head coach at FIU. Now at Oregon. he's having his lumps and he's growing somewhere. Now, when he comes to take the job at Miami, he understands what led to that. Okay. He understood what, what I did that week and the, the lack of preparation. And maybe we didn't have the right end. Maybe we should have woke up, woke up a little earlier that day. Things of that nature. Okay. Because guess what? What I what I expect from the head coach here is, is I'm not saying that they have to win every game, Mark. I'm not saying we got to go 66 and 0 over the next six years. We're going to have the occasional – we're not there yet as a program. You're going to have your occasional loss to a, a pretty solid Virginia Tech team. You're going to have your occasional loss to maybe Tallahassee somewhere down the line here because they're going to get things in order here soon. And what we don't want is for them to get things in order, for Florida to pull away even further than they have with everyone else in the state, and then Miami continues to drop into the conversation of – well, they have changed in ranks. That's all I'm saying here. It's, it's, it's going to be plenty of interviews and plenty of opportunities. And all I'm saying is let's make sure we get it right. I think the right answer right now at AD is Alonzo Hodgson because he has a plan. He's spoken about this plan plenty of times. He's done a lot of things to get places right. I understand you said the Cleveland Browns, the Browns sucked. Okay, sure. What about the Packers? Because he was the one that helped build that Super Bowl team that won in 2010. So, um, like I said, we're going to keep babbling that. Keep babbling the drum. We'll keep speaking about it uh, and, and, and keep pushing this because that narrative is very, very important. And uh, we can do our job here. We can do our job here on media here, on, on your amazing platform, Mark, on social media. But if we come as one and have a common goal set in place, that's when I believe we'll see change. Until we continue, until we get the fans out who are like, just give them time. Stop being impatient. Grow up. Until we get people like that out, until we get the people out who are, man, it's the players. Like, Derek King sucks. And Bubba Bowden sucks. And, and you may have that opinion. That's fine. But until we get those kind of people to understand their voice and to understand we got to have at least, we'll never get 100%, 95, 92, 90, somewhere in there. I think that's possible. We get that kind of focus. We want this change. And the first one on the check mark needs to be uh, going in a different direction at, at athletic director.